Hi myself Ian Ravin, rule number 49 and my topic is about on the fly optimization of data structures. Introduction The operations defined on an abstract data type can be subdivided into retrieve and update operations. An abstract data type representing a set of integers may serve as an example. The following two operations are defined on this set. Inspect1 inspects whether i is a member of the set retrieve operation. Insert Upon completion of this operation, i is a member of the set update operation. For some abstract data types, the values are adequately represented by a data structure based on a directed graph. For example, a set may be represented by a binary search tree. When representing such data types, a choice may have to be made from a range of possibilities, of which the two that follow are the extremes. The structural form is completely determined by the value of the abstract data type. In other words, each value has a unique representation which is assumed to be optimum. In this case, update operations may be cumbersome as they may affect the complete data structure. A complete balanced binary search tree is a case in point. The structural form depends only loosely on the value of the abstract data type. In other words, a value may have a number of representations. In this case, both retrieve and update operations may be inefficient if the graph contains a large number of vertices. A general binary search tree is a case in point. Optimization of the data structure that is reshaping its form to a more optimum one will in general interfere with the normal operations accessing the data structure. Since a complete optimization may affect the whole data structure, it may be a time consuming activity and if worse during that time, even normal retrieve and update operations may not be able to access the data structure. In order to enable a compiler to reason about programs with high level abstractions, we need mechanisms to extend the compiler so that it is able to resolve those abstractions. There are two common approaches. The first is to translate the abstractions away before the program reaches the compiler proper so that the compiler does not need to be aware of them. This is the idea behind of the macro systems and staging. Partial evaluation can also be used to specialize programs before they reach the actual compiler. The second option is to teach the compiler new domain specific rules. Usually compiler extensibility is understood as a means to add new cases. Some extensible compilers also allow adding new IR types but often it is not clear how new nodes interact with existing generic optimizations. Background Many computations can naturally be separated into stages distinguished by frequency of execution or availability of information. Multi-stage programming MSP staging for short as established by Taha and Shared make the stages explicit and allows programmers to delay evaluation of a program expression to a later stage. The present stage effectively acts as a code generator that when run produces the program of the next stage. Here we see the representation of a vertex. In this variation i is equal to 0 while i less than n will be disgaled as follows. Value i is equal to new variable 0. Methods new are assigned while are overloaded to work on 
decryption types. These methods need to be suitably defined and made available in scope. Scala virtualized also provides overloaded field access and object construction methods. In the declaration of vectors or complex numbers, extending struct serves as a marker to automatically lift object construction and field accesses to do the main of rip types. This means that staged field accesses such as vData are transparently available on <coughs> rip vector values and this case would return. Generic programming with type classes. The type class numeric to abstract over particular numeric types. The type class pattern which decouples data objects from generic dispatch fits naturally with a staged programming model. We can define a staged variant of the Stanford numeric type class and with addition on numeric vectors defined in figure make vectors themselves instance of numeric. All generic code is specialized to the concrete types and no type class instances exist and hence no virtual dispatch occurs. When the staged program is run, maintaining evaluation order. Compared to staging or macro system based and quasi quotation, LMS preserves program semantics in more cases. In particular, adding rip types does not change the relative evaluation order of statements within a stage. Limitations of front end staging and macros. Despite the given benefits for top performance, it is often not sufficient to use staging or macros or partial evaluation as a front end. Let us consider a simple non trivial example. Program transformation via staging. Staging usually is a method for regenerate generating programs. A multi-stage program builds an object program which is then compiled normally again. We show that staging is also useful as a tool for transforming programs. Any transformation can be broken down into a traversal and a generation part. Any transformation can be broken down into a traversal and a generation part. Not surprisingly, staging helps with the generation part. In our case, internal compiler passes or IR interpreters that happen to be staged so that they run a new program as the result. Here we see the transformation diagrams. The LMS extensible graph IR. We now turn to the level of primitive staged operations using LMS. We do not directly produce the second stage program in source form but instead as an extensible intermediate representation IR. We refer the reader to our previous work for details on the IR but give a short recap here. The overall structure is that of a sea of nodes dependency graph. The user facing interface is defined in trait vectors with abstract methods that are implemented in trait vectors export to create IR nodes of type vector zeros and vector plus respectively. Combining optimization speculative rewriting. Many optimizations that are traditionally implemented using an iterative data flow analysis followed by a transformation pass can also be expressed using various flavors of rewriting. Whenever possible, we tend to prefer a rewriting variant because rewrite rules are easy to specify separately and do not require programmers to define abstract interpretation lattices. Data structure optimization. High level data structures are a cornerstone of modern programming and at the same time stand in the way of compiler optimizations. We illuminate the main issues compilers have with data structures are used by the two dominant programming paradigms. OOP object oriented programming treats every data value as an object.
This is a powerful pattern that makes it is easy to extend languages with new functionality. Functional programs create lots of intermediate results. This is particularly bad for collection operations. Theoretically, compilers can leverage referential transparency, but impure functional languages need sophisticated FX analysis, which is hard if there is a lot of abstraction. Our staged programs are much simpler because abstraction is stripped away. We can do better and simpler FX analysis. A simple liveness analysis can turn copying into in place of modification. A novel loop fusion algorithm, data parallel and asymmetric, includes flat map and group by removes many intermediate results. That's all about my topic. Thank you.